Hey guys, um, I hope everybody's doing great. Um, if you've watched uh, other videos of mine, then you're, you're probably um, similar um, to me and just looking for ways to walk the narrow path towards Jesus. Uh, one thing that I've, I've noticed um, in life is uh, when, if we want to, to have a full life uh, with Jesus and a healthy faith life and to continue to grow, um, you know, it's not, it's not easy in a sense. The world's going to continue to pull us away from that, right? Um, and we can't just rely on our passion for him to always, um, and for God to always pull us in that direction and that fire, right? Being on fire, right? Is what, even a fire, what does a fire need, right? It needs, uh, wood, um, kindling, um, oxygen, various elements, um, and to be fed continuously, right? And it's just like a real marriage, right? Like what does a real marriage need, like to a person? Um, like often we'll see people, right? And maybe you've experienced that when you meet someone, uh, you'll have a, a like a honeymoon period where you're just in love with this new person, right? But um, what happens, right? And often um, marriages can go south if if uh, we um, and relationships can go south if we just depend on that feeling to keep keep us going and to sustain the the relationship and we don't want to add any any uh wood or or oxygen to 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 grow the marriage right so what do we need we need um relationships need in, intention right action love and action and love i think one of the things i i learned uh, after being married for a while is love's not it's uh, not a feeling, right? It's it's more of an action, right? It's choosing a choice in an action to choose to pursue, um, making the other person in that relationship feel um, loved, feel safe, and um, pursuing them in the ways that make them feel that way. Not that are easy to us to do, but um, more importantly, what makes them feel those ways, right? And um, just like that, right? Our marriage with God is no different, right? What do we need? Um, uh, what happens when we see someone that is just on fire, right? How often do you see that? And it's great. It's exciting. It's it um it pu it's it, it pulls us to them, right? But what happens so often if they're waiting for that fire and hoping that it just continues? So often do we find ourselves back? Um, maybe even in a lower place than than we were when we before that period of fire and passion for god um if we don't feed it right we we end up um maybe feeling uh a shame or embarrassed about um the fact that we're no longer walking towards him or feeling those ways so what do we need right how do we add what are, what's kindling right what's wood and oxygen for our faith right um well, some of those things that I think we need really is consistency, right? We need to be consistent, right? We need to feed the fire. If we expect our faith to continue um, to be strong and our walk towards Jesus um, in the narrow path uh, to be one that we can sustain, right? And that will be easy and a light yoke. Well, we need to feed it um, so it stays strong, right? Um, if we don't feed it, it becomes work, right? The more we feed it, the more we're going to want those things. And some of those things that we can do, right? And everyone's different. I've, I've learned um, some folks are filled up and um, closer to God through um, various, for, through different things than the next person. And I came up with a list of, um, and it's not an exhaustive list, but a list of, of some of the things I could think of that, uh, that either help me with my walk, bring me closer to, to God or, or I've, or some of the things that I've, I've that we see in the, the Bible that are good, um, it, it, or things I've seen folks do. Um, what, what comes to mind when you think of, uh, things that draw you closer to God, right? Um, it was some of the things I thought of were prayer, right? Um, how can we walk in closer with God? Uh, in, in relationship 
um, if we're not in community, in, in talk talking with God, with Jesus, right? Um, so having a a deep prayer life, uh, being in His Word, His Bible, right, it helps us uh, with everything, right? Um, and it helps us understand and just see the beauty of how perfect and true His Word is. Like just when we're out, we can um, and interacting. Um, the more we read His Word, the more we understand who He is as well. Um, a spirit of thankfulness, being thankful in all things, right? Um, thankful to God for um, everything, right? But not just the good things, right? I think be, even being thankful in times of our tr trials, which can be really hard. But um, often those trials are the things that that uh, that bring us closer to Him, right? Help us recognize how much we need Him, um, and that that um yeah it, so be thankfulness uh serving people right serving the least of these if we can um finding folks to serve that have that that there's no way they can um uh the people that have no way to benefit us from a worldly perspective um so the least of these um sermons listen to sermons that's a big one for me um, the more I can listen to sermons, the more I, I, I love understanding um, the whys, like when these these words and letters were written, who they were written to, and why they were written, helps me understand um, way more than if I just read it and, and try and apply it to what I think it means for me. Because a, a, a lot of um, meaning is missed, right? So being able to understand the why and what was being said to to these people because it um was written for a reason and helps us learn more about the ways of of christ and how to be christ-like right and um what um god is like um so time in his creation i i've met some people that really find their way closer to god through being in his in, in out in nature and in his creation um christ-centered community guys find ways to uh, be in small groups um, and, and this is one I've struggled with, hopping around for, for a while. And then I, I realized, uh, it's been a blessing to me, that everyone's in different places. So be aware of how, um, what fruit can come from the different relationships in those small groups. Uh, if you can't find a group that has um, at least someone in it that wants to live like this, with Jesus in the center of their life, walk the narrow path, that way you can have folks that, that you can talk about these things in your conversation with. And um, also, um, and then recognize the folks that aren't there. That's okay, right? Because another thing we need is to find opportunities to disciple people, right? Um, we may not feel like we're, we're ready for it, and some, some people aren't. Um, but also find folks if you can um, in life. Another thing is, people that are more mature in their faith, right? They're people we can learn from. Um, people that have been walking this uh, for many, many years um, and, and learn from them, be ready to listen, right? So those are just a, f a few things um, that come to my mind. Um, but what happens, right, if, we, if we're not stoking the fire, right? It's what happens when those people that, that we come across that are on fire, right? Um, because of whatever reason, but then what happens shortly after, right? Every single time, if they don't have consistency in their life with, um, with some of these things, is uh, eventually they often uh, even further down uh, it, uh, in the opposite direction, feeling embarrassed and shameful and, and upset that they're no longer feeling that fire. Um, but, but remember, God's, his yoke is easy, his burden is light. Um, it, but we need to pursue it um, to take on those things and we need to let go of the yoke of the world those are what will pull us away if we don't leave ourselves enough time for the consistency we have to let go of, we have to choose what our God is right doesn't mean we can't have fun but if we're not leaving enough time for the consistency then um, it's a choice right to what we're going to put in the center of our lives 
um, guys, let's do it. Let's, um, let's uh, choose to walk the narrow path. Um, I love you guys. Let's do this. Have a great day.